Boom, we cut some punk hair. Hey, beautiful. Today we'll be looking at some scene emo punk hair. I love emo shit and I love punk shit. I love scene shit. I was definitely a scene queen. I had the sickest fucking hair ever. Like it was like whoosh, whoosh, and like teased in the back. I want that again. Let's watch some people do some really crazy shit to their hair and also probably damage it a lot. Let's do it. Up first, we have a video by Blake Homie. All right, homie, let's see what we got. All right, guys. And unfortunately, I do have a bag from Sally's. She looks incredible, and you cannot tell me otherwise. Her piercings are so sick. And her hair already looks great. We're starting off good. Is she going to f*** it up? That's the question. We already know what's gonna happen today. We don't even have to guess. Tell me your secrets to healing piercings, because I can't even f*** pierce my cartilage without that sh getting torn totally infected. What is your secret? We're gonna shave the blue bits off the top of my head and then we're gonna give a little trim down here because like it needs it. I'm always trimming the top up here. But I'm never like trimming down here. I don't want her to get rid of the blue. Let's see, what would I want her to do? What about red on the top, black underneath? Kind of cute, I could see that. Yeah, I know, after that, we're going to bleach it. We're whipping out the corner. Quick blue baby. I feel like her root area is really dark. So she's gonna need that. I'm going to do like leopard print. Oh sh blue leopard print. Oh so I'm gonna take the full dye to do like around the spots and I'm gonna dilute it to do the actual spots. Oh, okay. It sounds like a great idea. I am very much not sure if it's gonna work because that color is already really light. So if you're gonna dilute that, like you better make sure your hair is white white to start or else that is not gonna show and it's just going to cancel out some of the yellow in your hair and turn gray so i don't know this leopard thing i would like a leopard print but like a blue leopard print i just don't think it's gonna happen my girl it's my first time i got the color 50 turquoise but yeah other than that i got this salon care developer i i have a bunch of developer i just didn't know if i had enough of 30 volume which i really don't so she's also using 30 volume with the quick blue i think that's a good idea i can't really tell how dark her hair now is but you guys know I love a good 30 volume and I know that's like a you're not supposed to put it on your scalp but listen I have been a double process for literally so long I don't use anything besides 30 volume on my scalp and it's perfectly fine I wouldn't worry about it, it doesn't feel any different than 20 and then I got the T18 to like tone the platinum up here I don't know if her hair's gonna be light enough for that I don't know if it's gonna do anything to her actually we're about to start on our first step which we're gonna use these like dusty ass like dull ass Clippers. We always need a good dusty whatever else she said clippers. I don't know what the f is going on here. Why are we just, you know, what is this? I think what would be easier for you next time is if you wet all your hair, you sectioned out lines going down, okay? Picked it up with your finger and cut. That will give you a little bit more of an even result. That's not exactly how you would do it as a hairstylist, but it would give you a better result than just clipping off the ends like that. Okay, I might be doing this to where it's annoying, but I just don't want to like take off too much. Like I would just go ahead and cut all the blue parts off with my scissors, but I don't want it to like look weird. She don't give a f or a sh at all. And I love that. Sometimes I wish I could give less of a fuck. I actually give so many fucks that I can't even fuck anymore. We're off to a, a rocky start and now we're getting the shears out. We're finding the haircut. The beautiful haircut we just gave ourselves. Honestly though, it is looking kind of even. What the hell? Why do you guys always gotta do this to me? You gotta do some weird stuff to your hair and then all of a sudden it somehow comes out good. Make it make sense. This is what it looks like. Um, My cow like is making it look like I have a ball spot over here. Wait, what are those two front pieces? I love it. I think it looks okay from up here. The back is not my problem. If it looks bad, don't tell me about it. I'm not even gonna watch this part the video. The back looks okay. I know you don't want to hear about it, but it looks okay. Does the haircut make total sense? No. Do I think that she could rock it even if it was done worse than that? Yes. So I don't think it matters. I have my bleach all mixed up and I'm going to start on the bottom because this is going to be the hardest part to lift and I'm not sectioning. I'm just going to fully saturate the piece since it is a very small piece of hair. Okay, inches. <laughs> no, I can't wait till this grows like really, really super long and it's like crazy mullet territory. Whoa. It's probably not gonna grow that long because you are literally lightening it again and it's already pre-lightened and it's already blue. No. I mean, if you're gonna do this, like, and you're, you're trying to just remove the blue, 
blue like let's just get it on real quick and get it off real quick it's probably not gonna remove all the blue pigment because blue is one of the hardest colors to get out of the hair you know doing a color remover i actually love the guy tan color remover i used that last time i went brown and then i went blonde the next day <laughs> don't tell me we're gonna leave this on the entire time we're doing the roots too please please no. You should always start with the naturally darkest part of your head, if that makes sense. We're getting that lightener on there. I mean, at least she's being thorough with it. We're not sectioning, but like she doesn't have a lot of hair down there, so it's not really necessary. I fully saturated the ends. I'm just not sure when I want to move up top more because like look it looks like it's getting light but that's because it has like lightener on it i think i'm gonna give it five minutes and i'm gonna start going to all of this stuff but yeah i think it's like it's lifting nice enough to where i think i might dilute the dye i got and try to put it on top and maybe it'll fade out more beautifully than this did we are officially leaving the lightener on the ends as we do the rest of the head no blake no oh we're getting it in there we are gonna miss some spots 100 percent don't use a brush or anything. Yeah, of course not. Like, why would we use a brush? We should just use our hands and then just not section anything. Her hair's not quite short enough to do that. Okay, like it needs to be a little bit shorter uh, in order to just like mush it all around and do whatever. There's gonna be dark spots and I just feel like there's not enough lightener going on her head right now. Her hair is so dark naturally. Can we just talk about that? Whoa! I'm so tired. Ooh! But we're going to continue. This is like after like- Okay. I'm just drawing on the dots and then I'll do the dark part and then I'm gonna whip up a dye that's like something. It's not gonna be light enough, girl. I really want a good result, but it's not gonna be, not gonna be great. We are using the lightest blue. Not quite the lightest, but it's pretty light. I think I should go a little darker. I'm so happy she's using a darker color now. I don't know where we're going with this. I still don't. Okay, hi guys. It's like a few days later and I never really felt the motivation to like finish filming. Oh! This is how it turned out. The back's kind of like way lighter than the front, which is crazy because like my roots, they were supposed to be like the platinum. I don't really mind it. Like it looks pretty cute from the back. From the front, it's kind of like what's going on, but I love the way it blends into the back. She said it. Okay, it wasn't me. The leopard print didn't turn out too great. It kind of just looks like dots, but it still looks really cool. And also I'm kind of feeling like dying, like this whole part purple. I mean, listen, you're literally cool no matter what in my book. Like you could literally do anything. But if I'm being critical, which I am known for, I want more. I want you to relighten that the top of your hair. I want the back like dark blue or something shave your hair shorter and then do actual cheetah spots with really dark blue and leave the middle out so it's like white and blue like if we're gonna do it let's do it it was an attempt you're still cute this next video is by acid milk oh i love the name so my plan is to go all pink with some yellow in my fringe oh this is gonna be a task she's got not only blue in her hair which is so hard to get rid of but she also has black which is also so hard to get rid of. I don't know if this is gonna happen. First, I'm gonna try the vitamin C and clarifying shampoo method. I haven't had a lot of luck with this method before. It's because it doesn't work. Stop doing that method, you guys. Vitamin C, it will take out the tiniest amount of color out of your hair. If it was a miracle, people would be packaging that shit and selling it by the billions. I'm gonna stand over the sink because there's a lot of stuff falling out. Kind of just adding shampoo to anywhere that feels kind of dry. All right, I think everything's been covered up. It looks like it's coming out a bit. It's definitely not gonna take out all the color, but it could take out a little bit of it. I would be happy with that. Okay, so this is where I'm at after my first vitamin C treatment. This did not really want to move too much. When you look closely, you see some brown spots. It did something. I'm actually really satisfied with that. So I'm going to try it out one more time just to see what happens. I'm going to start by saturating it as much as possible on the black because I want to see it do something. So this is where I am right now after my second vitamin C treatment. It's still pretty vibrant by my root. The rest of it is fading pretty nicely. This side has however, did minimal lifting. Okay, so my next method is something that I've done before to get hair dye out and it worked kind of well. Baking soda, dish soap, and 10 volume developer. Thoughts and prayers, please. The black looks a little promising. So after my little baking soda adventure, I don't think it did too much to the blue, but the black does look like it lifted a tiny itty bitty bit. Like you can definitely see it has more of a brown tint right now. It's just not gonna cut it though. I wanna try this little hair color remover. I feel like it's so thick that every time I 
I pick it up, it just drops somewhere. Maybe I should focus more on the black side, making sure I don't run out of product. It doesn't look like it's doing anything to either side. Like, look at this, nothing. My black side is mostly dark brown, except for some little patches here and there. My fresher roots are still pretty blue, and the rest of it is pretty blonde. We've removed the color a few times now. It's been a lot. It's not that much lighter. I don't know, I guess so. But we're on to the actual lightening process. This is where I feel like things are gonna get juicy. I heard that this cream lightening stuff is way better for your hair than the powder lightening stuff. I never heard it's better for your hair. I don't know how that would work. If it's lifting your hair like five shades lighter, it's probably not gonna be good for your hair. Actually impossible. So typically cream lifts more than powder makes its developer. Uh, I don't think it's any better for your hair. I will do all of this with 20 volume. I'll do my bright roots with 20 volume and then I'll do all the light stuff with 10 volume. 10 volume literally provides you with the most tiniest bit of lift. It is possible in this situation because it is developer, it could do something. We should probably use 20 on the darker side with foils or with 30 volume and open air and then do 20 volume on the blue side to lift it out, okay? And then put it on at different times. You can do a lot of things. At these little guys, apparently they mimic Olaplex. Okay, we're putting a bond building product into the lightener, which is great. I'm glad we're just at least trying to keep the integrity of our hair. That is quite a band of blonde. And this half is easy. I just fucking 20 volume all over the place. You're gonna wanna avoid the root at first, okay? Because we have the heat from the scalp. I'm gonna try to start yelling it out of my window in my car. I'm just gonna be like, oh, you have heat from your scalp. It processes things faster and brighter. So you're gonna wanna do that last. And it makes things more complicated, I know, but it's like, that's hair color. I swear to God, if one of y'all come in my comments like, actually, that's not how you're supposed to do it. Brad Mondo said this is an anti-Brad Mondo channel. Brad Mondo, if you see this video, I just want to let you know that I have no reason to believe you're not a fraud. <laughs> What? I'm a fraud? I always say this, but like, you guys give me too much credit when you call me a fraud. Could you imagine if I was here, like, fully, somehow, making up a whole career for myself? Look at her. I don't think I'll have any problem putting pink over that. But what I am gonna have a problem with is how different the levels are gonna be. Because I know I'm not gonna be able to get this to the same blonde that this side is on. What is going on? If you want to come after me today, I'm gonna come after you. Because now we're beefing. What are we doing with this color, man? This application is wild. Like horizontal sections, guys. You can literally just take a section across your head, paint the bottom, paint the top, do the mids and ends first, go all the way up, bing, bang, bing, bing, boom, boom, boom. Do it in like this pattern type and then go back and section out and do all the roots after, okay? You can actually be kind of messy with it when you're doing the roots. You can literally just take your hands and like if you really want to at that point, I will allow you to just like just get the lightener all over those roots after. This is what the back is looking like. The roots, fine. Everything else, less fine. I'm gonna give everywhere a nice little lathering in the 30 volume. So now we're putting the 20 volume over the 10 volume, which makes volume. So we're actually increasing it, the 10 volume we put on the ends of the hair. Also, I can tell that the roots are processing faster. Obviously that was going to happen. We called that in the first place, but we're getting hot roots. Okay, this is what's going on right now. This is a very gingery, looks like it just got bleached from black sort of color. And this got pretty f blonde, I must say. So I'm about to do my second round of bleach. Oh. No, 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 no. We're doing another one. I mean, she needs it, but is she gonna do it right? I don't think so. <laughs> we need to get those dark bits processing faster than the lighter bits. And that's gonna be a really hard task and you need to section out that hair really well or else you're gonna overlap and things are gonna break off and it's not gonna be good. I think I am gonna do all of the orange side first and then I'm gonna go back and fix all the blue. So now I'm gonna go through and pick through all of the nasty parts of my hair in the front first since it's the worst. No, she put it on her roots again. No, 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 no. That hurts so bad. Like that was two times in one day. It is now day three. Oh. What's going on? I am very fried. Oh. 
this side is really bad. Okay, what are we doing for the final color though? This half of my head where the black was is gonna stay black. The under chunk of my fringe is gonna be pink because I think it would blend well with the rest of the pink going on. I can definitely see some of the spots where the black didn't lift. The pink is going to be, I think, dark enough to cover up the mistakes. Yeah, I'm gonna be real surprised if this dark stuff turns out good with the pink. Yeah, this doesn't look too good. So this is what I ended up with. This little experiment, it's gross. I'm just gonna dye over it with black. So that means I'm gonna have to make a little black section over here too. Now I just have to manage to copy this line so it'll be symmetrical. Whoa, we are getting creative. I'm glad we're sticking with the pink on the other side too. I feel like this is gonna be good. I do wanna see her color those blonde parts though. Like I want color everywhere. I do have a feeling I'm gonna be adding more black to other places in my hair. Okay, we're finishing off by coloring the underneath section black. Pink, black, and blonde is a strange mixture. It just bleeds so easily. We're about to see the final results. My hair is officially done. Oh. Good, I don't know about this. I feel like it's missing something, but I think it's growing on me. I don't know if I'm done forever. Like I might add something, whether it be black in my fringe or dyeing this yellow, I don't really know. But right now it's this. Overall it is damaged, but it's nothing some deep conditioner can't fix. I am kind of pleasantly surprised by it. Okay, I love the makeup. Oh my God, you look so pretty. I feel like we're just missing something. Like we need the yellow. We need to color that blonde piece, I feel like. I want it more. I want yellow. I want more colors. I want bigger hair. It's almost there, but it's only my opinion. And you do whatever you want with your hair that makes you happy and you're beautiful. And one day I hope to win over your, your love. Well, that was fun and horrifying. They had some iconic hair, I will say. And yeah, I'm jealous. Okay, I need to have more fun with my hair. If you'd like to check out my hair color or my hair care line, you can do so with the links right down below or go to xmonohair.com. You can also get some hair inspiration or some hair color inspiration on my Instagram pages right here. Bing, bang, boom. And you can check me out everywhere else as well. If you'd like to check out more videos, you can do so. Bing, bang, boom, bing, 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 boom. You know, if you're not already subscribed, that would be super cool. And if you want to click the like button, I'm not saying you have to, but I would love it. And thank you for spending time with me today. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye.